got this weird growth on the side of my head. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just my cell phone. <laughs> but it's there so often, it might as well be a part of me. But the real question on everyone's mind <laughs> is, will there be a growth inside my head? What? Cell phones cause cancer? What are we gonna do? Hello, cigarettes cause cancer. People still use them anyway. Can you say addicted? Crackberry! Close enough. Cell phones produce radio frequency or RF energy waves, and there's a raging debate as to whether or not they could cause cancer. Why would energy waves cause cancer? Well, they're a form of electromagnetic radiation, like x-rays, which do cause cancer. But there is a significant difference, hence the heated debate. X-rays are ionizing high frequency, and RF energy is non-ionizing low frequency. On the electromagnetic spectrum, they're on opposite ends. And there's all kinds of things in between them, like visible light and microwaves that we cook food with. Cook? There have been a bunch of studies done. Some say cell phones are bad, some say they aren't, some are inconclusive and don't say anything at all. And those are my favorites. I like not knowing. It makes living with my addiction easier. But there are a few problems with these studies. The time between exposure and tumor growth can be years, even decades, and the technology is changing so fast it's almost impossible to do a long-term study on it. Idiot on Uni writes, cellular RFs are bouncing through everyone all day. Why would carrying a cell phone next to your head give you more risk? Well, assuming there's a risk in the first place, the main source of RF energy is the antenna. You used to be able to see them, but now you don't. They hide them in the phone somewhere, deep down. No, I still don't see it. The closer that antenna is to your head, the more RF exposure you get. Oh, and interestingly enough, when your cell phone has the fewest bars, it puts out more RF energy to communicate with the nearest tower. So if your reception's bad, and you're afraid of tumors, maybe you shouldn't take that call. Maybe you shouldn't take it anyway. Crackberry! I've heard that it's not the RF that causes cancer, it's the heat. Is that true? Do you mean heat the way microwaves vibrate and energize molecular bonds? Because if that's what you mean, I don't know. And I don't think they've finished those studies yet. Hold on, I'm cooking my brain like a microwave. Ooh, that's the sweet spot. Would wearing a Bluetooth earpiece increase the risk of cancer? You'd think so, since they transmit RF and how they sit on the side of your head all day long. They're so sleek and snug and fashionable. Nothing says fashion like having a small black slug hanging from your right ear. But the RF signals these headsets put out only goes like 20 feet instead of 20 miles. So the intensity just can't compare with your good old handset. Will cell phones kill you? Probably. In fact, the way some of you drive? Definitely. It just might not be from cancer. You might even claim that it's already killing you. I mean, ever since you got your cell phone, your life isn't really your own. It's like you're some kind of cell phone slave. You know, addicted so badly, you have to take every... Hold on, I gotta get this. Hello? Okay, guys, hold on. We're all gonna have a conference call. I'm just gonna put you on speakerphone here. Hello? You talk to him. You guys could talk too. There you go.